hell and we the murder was there then with the hell coming up next a ufc lightweight division battle So here's the resurgent former UFC lightweight champion, former Wheaties box cover boy, Anthony Showtime Pettis. Many of you remember that fateful night when he won the UFC lightweight title with a first round submission of Benson Henderson. And he did it right there in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The longtime Rufus Sport product, Anthony Showtime Pettis. Joe, back for more tonight. Anthony Pettis may be one of the best Taekwondo strikers converted to mixed martial arts fighters. His highlight reel of kick knockouts is amongst the best in the sport. So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off at the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. This guy has taken shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious. <laughs> Nothing happened. His chin is legendary. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, playing out of the blue corner, a Taekwondo fighter holding a professional record of 26 wins, 18 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Shota! Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 16 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana, USA, the chosen one. And the Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. All right, ready to go here. Round one here is Anthony Showtime Pettis. More than a dozen first-round finishes to his credit. Supremely dangerous fighter, particularly in the early going. Showtime Pettis trying to get it done here early tonight. Pettis gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. Oh! Body kick, look at that. Back and forth we go. Landing some shots. Oh, straight right. Oh, he's going for it here. Oh, head kick. Oh, tagged him. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Oh, big uppercut! Huge left, left hand. hand! 
nasty combinations here. Kick attempt, it's blocked. Nice jab. Pettis' lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice leg kick. Under a minute now to go. Oh! Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Nice. Straight left to the body. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Devastating uppercut. That one hurt. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. Kick lands. Five oh, minutes in the books. Let's take a look at it again here. Here's a perfectly placed kick that results in a knockdown. Here's a devastating kick that results in a knockdown. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. go they don't get much prettier than that a huge kick to end the night here tonight he caught his opponent flush full force full extension and that one was a no doubter the fight was over as soon as that foot made contact let's take a look at that again great angle here and he's out Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the chosen. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.